Oh, the, oh, there we have our little frog. He's cute. All right, welcome back to the series where we build a game in React. And today we're gonna populate the world with some uh, moving objects and a frog. So we have our boats, trucks and the frog. So in order to do that, we're gonna need some state in this world. And for that, I'm gonna use a recoil. So our first step should be to wrap the entire app in a recoil root. I'm going to import recoil root, and then we're gonna wrap the whole thing in that element. So now we should be able to use recoil throughout the application. I created some empty components here, which I named trucks boats and instead of creating boat and truck component I think it would be better to have like a shared components for them called moving object since they will behave very similarly I also found this hook I think it's written by the great Dan Abramov it's called use interval that is like a set interval but made to work great in React. So where should we start? Maybe we start with the trucks. Okay, let's start working with the trucks. So I will import Adam and use recoils state. I will also need eventually the use interval function and later on we'll also need the moving object so let's first initialize our state and it's an atom where the key is truck state and we set a default value here and that should be an array and then we should set a truck here where I, let's say x is zero and y would be the row that the truck should move in which is maybe grass Load maybe maybe six. I'm just guessing here, but probably something like six. Um, and then he should have a direction set down for this. And then we should have an ID since this this will be listed out in a like a list. We need to have a key in React. So. We'll figure out a way to generate a unique ID. We'll figure something better out than this eventually. Okay, so now we have a default truck state with one truck. Set trucks. Use recoil state and we pass in the truck state. And as I said earlier, here I want to use the moving object the shared component that will be used for both trucks and boats. Moving object. And that one will need to have trucks. Let's just pass in the first one here. And it, we need a type here as well. When we use it inside this, the type should be There we go. My plan was that this moving object component would be responsible for setting the correct image and placing it in the correct spot. So let's import the images. And for the calculations, we need these constants. Props that we get here are x, y, direction and type. I will just copy the 
XY calculations from what we did in the landscape. And then let's figure out what image to use based on the type. So what we should return here is an image. Source equals source. Alt is type. And X is X abs. Y is Y abs. Oh wait, I need to add the trucks to the world. Trucks. Oh, we have our first truck in the world. Well, of, of course it's in the wrong place. Oh, wait, this should of course not be like this. This should be the style property. Style. So let's see what we get on this one. So we do get left. That's That looks like it should be somewhere in the middle. Is it absolutely positioned? Oh, I know, I'm missing because I added some styling for frog, boat and truck so I need to add the class name of truck to this one so they will be position absolute type where did it end up? oh it's there it's just a said position these should always be on top so let's just add some and there we have it we have a a truck on the road that's great and we want trucks to go in both directions right this one could go down and then we should have another one that goes up so let's instead of just having one of these we have two up. Or instead of zero we take eight we need to map these trucks dot map. We need to wrap all of this as well. There we go. Do we get double trucks? No. Oh, there we have it. We have two trucks, and of course, the second one should not be in the same Y. It could be. Okay, let's make this math of random ID a bit better. I will do two string 36. Then it, I think it should not end up being the same. Okay, let's have this one start outside of the screen. And this one start at 9. And now what we should do is try to get them to move across the board. So we can use this set trucks and we want to do this at an interval. I will create a function called move trucks. And since I don't want this to be recreated at every render, I will import use callback. Use callback. Trucks copy is... So we make a copy of the state we don't modify this variable directly and then we iterate through this trucks copy dot map truck. if truck dot direction is up then we same thing but the x and this is a string now so we parse in minus one and if we're not going up we're going down we should set the trucks to this trucks copy and also we need the dependencies for the use callback which would be trucks and set trucks and also we need to call the move trucks function and that we should do in a set interval use interval and this is the custom hook that 
I imported written by Dan Abermoff. So we call move tracks and how often do we want to do it? Maybe 350. There we go. They're moving. And also what we want to do is we want them to move smoothly across the board. So with that we could do CSS transition on the top and left properties for the position absolute and we can set that be a linear transition that takes the exact same amount of time as the set interval that we just used and probably will be like a smooth ride across since they line up exactly transition uh, top 50 milliseconds linear same for left do we have no trucks we do have trucks oh but okay they maybe already left the screen yeah oh okay now let's fix so that if they leave the screen they should be removed and we want that to be in a nice way so we could we could animate the opacity in a 50 millisecond linear i guess we could put it in the moving object opacity and if x x x is smaller than zero means that we left the board or x is larger than 8 means that we left the board if we left the board we set it to 0 otherwise 1 let's see if they disappear they should disappear when they leave the screen and they do so now let's remove them when they leave the screen and add new ones const new trucks trucks filter or we can check if there is a truck in the beginning of the board because we want them to come regularly so if a truck has already driven a bit across the board we can add another one so if truck dot x7 that means that it's driven like one tile or if it comes from the other side but if we don't have trucks in these positions then we can add more tr new trucks dot push so if you want to create a similar truck to these ones and then we need to add the new trucks to the trucks copy Also to remove the old trucks that have gone too far they will be in this one so we could filter them out truck.x larger than 9 bigger than 0 we want to keep those that are in bounds and filter away those that are not in bounds and then add the new let's see if they were removed now yeah they were removed from the dome we're still not getting new trucks, so there must be something wrong with this filter here. If there are no trucks in 7 or no trucks in 1, we should push new trucks. Keep the trucks that are... Okay, I maybe need to match that up, so they don't get instantly removed once they're added. Mm, still no new trucks. What am I missing? Oh, maybe here. Oh! Oh. That's nice. I wonder if it's a bit too hard maybe, but uh, we'll have to try it out. Okay, let me quickly duplicate this code for the boats. It will be very similar, I think. Okay, so I have written almost exactly the same code for the boats. I haven't added them to the world yet. Uh, Boats. 
Let's see, do we get boats? Ooh! <laughs> we do have some boats. They look really strange. Like floating boats. So maybe I can... Let me see how I can fix that. It seems like they need to be transformed a bit. Or uh, rotated. Okay, maybe boat, transform, rotate. Minus 15 maybe? Oh, that's better. 10. We're getting there. I also realized that the frog should be under the trucks but on top of the boats. So let's put the said index on according to that. The frog said we keep this at thousand the truck should be uh, on top of it and the boat should be below it so the frog is gonna ride the boat of course okay that's nice we have some moving objects I think the last part of this video should be to add the frog let me copy some things from the truck. It needs to have a state. I need, of course, this calculation. And the source needs to be different based on the direction it is facing. What we should return is at least an image tag. Source is source. X is X abs. No, I should use it like this. Last name should be Frog. Okay, there we have I'm missing the Y one. There we go. And of course, we need to import from, from images, but we need four different images. So let's see what they are called. I guess we could just call them up, down, left, right. And uh, we need to set the initial state of the frog as well. Once. Frog state is an atom, he is frog state. And the default. So now we can set the starting position of the frog here. X should be in the middle somewhere. Y should be on the last line because we start from the bottom. Direction should be up. I guess we also need to keep track later if the frog is alive or dead. So let's add dead false mm, and then const frog I guess we won't set the frog in this one so then we can use instead use recoil value then we can just do frog is use recoil value State. So my plan is to have an input component that handles all the inputs from the keyboard later so I don't want to set the frog state here I just want to use it and then you can use you use recoil value for that so here we're using x and y and so on so I guess we should destructure this frog to x y Dadder. Where is the frog? Oh wait, I need to add the frog to the world. Frog. Oh, the, oh there we have our little frog. It's cute. I think um, 
That's what we wanted to achieve in this video, to populate the world with the frog, the moving trucks, the moving boats. And these are all the objects that we need in order to play the game. In the next one, we could focus on getting the inputs to move the frog and also the game logic so that you get killed by a truck and that you can ride on the boat and when you pass the finish line you get a point. For me, at least, is the most fun part. So uh, thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you do like this content or if you don't like it then don't subscribe, that's fine too. See you guys next time.